Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go nine hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Let's take a look at one of our four, agreeing, four agreements. Surrender and let go of the past. Whatever life takes away from you, let it go. When you surrender and let go of the past, you allow yourself to be fully alive in the moment. Letting go of the past means that you can enjoy the dream that is happening right here, right now. Yesterday's gone. Tomorrow's not here. What are you doing right now? Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow up 30, NASDAQ up 13, S&P's up 4, gold contract. Down four dollars trading at one thousand three oh seven an ounce. Silver up seventeen cents at nineteen dollars and eighty cents an ounce. Platinum up five at one thousand four forty four. Copper flat at three sixteen a pound. Light sweet crude down a buck ten at one oh six seventy nine. Bonds up a point and twenty two ticks at one thirty three twenty three. King dollar down four hundred and fifty two ticks at eighty one. 97, euro up 77 at 132.83, and the yen is out there at 98.88. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, folks, uh, you get higher markets. We're at 17.08, and what you do have with 17.08 is that, you know, you have a swing point out there from May 22nd, which is the benchmark, at 1687, where you can see your uh, bottom line 21 points away from that. Um, you have higher highs, that means it can go higher. You take a look at the SPY, the correlation, um, volume-wise inside the SPY, yes, it's sick, but bottom line, uh, you are, even on the weekly, I'm doing the weekly fire right now because the weekly is absolutely, you know, a, a basically screaming that you're away from this swing point. So the weekly on the SPY is at 170.95 right now. Uh, that swing point's 169.07. Yeah, we on a weekly basis, you did 500, 500 million versus 788. We go to the Dow Industrials, we take a look at the Dow. What we have with the Dow, Dow is at 15,658. And your swing point out here, we're dealing with uh, 542. You know, so bottom line, that's another 100 bucks over there. Uh, the diamonds, if you want to take a look at the ETF structure inside the diamonds on the weekly basis, the diamonds right now are at 156.20, and you have the, we did 27 million versus 38. Uh, the price point, the diamonds are at 156.20, the price point is 155.14. The NDX 100, we take a look at the three Qs. What we have with the three Qs is this. You know, you talk about uh, it was anemic beyond belief for yesterday. Same deal today, but higher price. 16 million shares yes, today. 16 million shares today. We're at 76.96. The swing point out here. And, and there's no doubt the, uh, the, the Qs, with the Qs, had no juice whatsoever, but the Qs did go from 75.02 to 76.97. Your swing point out here is 74.95. So you're, you're two points above it, which is, for the Qs, that's a big number. And uh, when you are looking on a chart, it's, that, that has the price spread. Right. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means that, yeah, you get into higher price, we have lighter volume. Um, and on this particular case, because what you have done, you've broken the benchmark the benchmark being that May 22nd, um, you know, you can you can stretch it up more. Uh, we'll see uh, how we challenge the benchmark if, in fact, well, I know we're going to challenge the benchmark, but bottom line at this point, higher prices uh, with lower volume look like they're going to challenge them, they're going to go after them. Now, divergence, here we go. Bond market. What happens with the bonds out here? This is what we had. Bonds took off like a rocket ship out here today. 374,000 contracts inside the range. Um, you know, we'll, we'll see if it can get another acceleration. Bonds will need another wide price spread, accelerated volume. Bonds have done everything 
they should do to have the bottom in. Uh, we came down straight down from May 1st. May 1st was uh, bonds were at 148.25. You, you, you come down. Last time we had any volume on the way down was 135.20. Okay, so watch how this goes. You come straight down, big volume down to that price point. Then what do you do? You push down lower. You push down to, uh, let's see, so 135.20 was real price. You push down to 132.04. We do that on 400,000. You get a small sign of strength. You come back and test that area, and we test that area with uh, 355,000. We go topside today with 374. Um, the bond market is saying, okay, first off, it can get to 139. You get another day like we had today with wide price spread accelerated volume, that'll break the whole downtrend. The downtrend is not broken yet, uh, but we have been going sideways now since June 24th. Dollar index. We take a look at the dollar. This is what we have with the dollar. Dollar index out here. Uh, she was she was up 900 ticks yesterday. She pulled back four, uh, 432 ticks today with lighter volume. What we did is this. We did uh, 42,000 contracts out here, going into 62,000. You know, so that in that context, that is a nice setup. Gold market. We go take a look at gold. This is what we have with gold. You're talking about volatility in gold out here today. But the volatility in gold and in the bond market was extraordinary, folks, when the jobs numbers come, in, come out at 830. Uh, gold had been down $20. Gold was trading at a price point of uh, 1285 um, 1283 to be exact. And as soon as the job numbers come up, that baby got all the way back up to the 13, uh, 10, 13, 12 area. So what do we have? You had gold, GCZ, get to lower price, reject lower price, have lighter volume. Um, these, these physical gold, 1385 it wants to get into. Whether it's the XAU, the HUI, um, all these equities, um, they've, they've set up a, a nice little setup. Uh, if we go take a look at uh, Rangold Resources, G-O-L-D, I just see what Rangold She's down two dollars today, seventy point five eight. She did it with eight hundred thousand shares. She's coming into two million shares, um, and, and Rango can go back to sixty eight. Bottom line, though, you you have the acceleration up. Well, first off, you test the bottom with lighter volume. You had the acceleration up, two separate signs of strength. You're pulling back, and you are pulling back with lighter volume. Some of the uh, Dow stocks out here. This is what you had the. Uh, Caterpillar was down 14. No, the, the Marbell was up five. We had Disney up a buck 15. DuPont was up 147. If we go look at uh, Big Blue, Big Blue came back from the dead. Uh, Big Blue uh, had 3.8 million shares. So he had extension of volume on the way down. Uh, got to a price point of 193, but closed out at 195.16. Um, and in that context, the bottom line is that that was pulling back into another down day and it did do it on light of volume so big blue once again hasn't been able to get traction topside um got a little extension with volume on the downside but that's saying that okay she's going to try to get into the swing point the higher swing again which is only two points higher but she's going to try that uh we'll see if she can make it we go take a look at uh, dupont what we had with dupont dupont had some juice out here today she was up a dollar 47 and uh she had the volume behind the move uh, when you take a look at DuPont, the thing that's amazing about DuPont, too, is that DuPont on the 23rd uh, had opened at 58.72. Uh, it sold down, but you had high volume. Guess what? Opens right at that high volume again, uh, pushing into that high volume. Some of the high volume stocks in a low volume market. We had uh, Bank of America down 11. You had uh, AIG up 126. Uh, Intel was uh, flat. We had uh, Cisco Systems up 29. Uh, we go take a look at the uh, Walmart out here. So Walmart is hanging out there at the 78.75 area. And we bring this back. Yeah, they're all going to need no more juice, but bottom line is that uh, no doubt they did get higher vol higher price. Uh, what was interesting out here today, big time, uh, was between the news on Apple and how Apple was moving. So Apple was up five dollars and eighty-four cents. Uh, we are at a price point right now of four sixty-two. 
The next swing point out here um, is trading out uh, about three points higher. And Apple is absolutely taking conniptions. And what they're taking conniptions about, folks, is that the Justice Department... Um, so Apple is got caught with their hand in the till and by, by the courts. And specifically, uh, what it was all about was about price fixing in the... Uh, book market and the digital book market. Well, the Justice Department uh, uh, is wants to put in uh, a huge amount of regulations uh, and punishments against Apple, and Apple's uh, taking conniptions. I don't blame them either. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. So come right back.